Now guys, here are the four key principles for the golf swing of your dream. So if you could do these four things, you will be playing unbelievably good golf. This is a great video to build your swing off of the components you need. So let's get straight into it. Number one, the incredibly most important thing because your body reacts to it no matter what it is, and that is a square club face. So having a square face, square to the swing arc, is so incredibly important because having that club face square to the swing arc means we don't have to slow the body down in its rotation going through the golf ball to re-square it. We can, if we have these other points in here, just have the most simple downswing and the most simple movement because the body wants to hit the ball to the target. So having a square face, you'll get in these desirable moves that you see the top tour players do and they do a lot of that because that club face is so square they can make things really nice and simple. So when I see goal, amateur golfers, let's say they have a closed club face where it's more pointing down towards the ground here. Let's say it's shaft parallel to the ground in the backswing. If that club face stays closed, I quite often would see them come out of their posture to get that club face square again. So their body's reorganizing itself to make it square. So for golfers with an open club face, I will see them with that toes pointing up towards the sky at shaft parallel on the takeaway. If they keep that open, their body's gonna slow down and it's gonna flip the hands or you're gonna cast at it to be able to close the club face off so you can see how your body's gonna react to it. Like we said, that club face is nice and square, slightly angled down here, so it's matching the angle of my spine, which is square to my swing arc, and I maintain that square. We can see now I can just turn nicely. I don't have to slow anything down. Boom, I can hit nice, consistent shots. Now, the second key principle here I'm gonna demonstrate with my training aid here, and that is a center turn. This is what's gonna make you hit ball and turf pretty much every single time. So what I see players do, I will see players really struggle with their ball striking. And you'll see a lot of them come off the golf ball, overly move way too much to their trail side, to where then they have to shift an incredible amount just to get their lowest point of the swing arc forward so they can hit ball than turf. So why have all this big movement from side to side? That's a lot that you have to time up in the short space of time that a golf swing is performed when you could stay more centered as you turn. So that's why I've got this training aid out here, this long alignment stick, the swing plate. So if I'm turning with this here, it stops me from coming over onto my trail side all too much. I still wanna get my weight going into that trail heel, but as you can see, I can do that and stay incredibly centered. So why that helps so much is because now, as I shift in the downswing, I don't have to move that much onto my lead side to be able to move my low point forward. So having something that helps us here for a drill sake, like the swing plate, long alignment stick coming just outside, just at the trail portion of your head here, forces me not to move off. So that's really gonna keep me and get me striking ball and turf every time. So the third key principle here is starting your downswing with the correct sequence. And it's something all the top players in the world do. And that is, as you're starting your downswing, you want your lower body and mid torso to start to turn and to start to rotate. You want the chest and the arms to stay very, very passive. You don't want them starting at the same time. That's what I see so many amateur golfers do. They'll be starting their downswing everything going at once. Their lower body will go, their upper body go, and their arms will go, and they swing over the top. Or there might be a player who just vertically pulls the club down, starting with their arms. Then they're in big issues. They'd have an over-the-top slice, or they will be on the inside and have to stand up to throw the arms through the golf ball, hooking the shot. So you have to have that lower body mid-torso start first. Chest and arms stay passive. As you can see, even with me, just a practice swing, you've got to see how the center of mass of the club is gonna to start to pitch behind me. That's shallow in the golf club. It can happen very easily on its own through doing this, and the club will remain on a really nice path. So if my club face is nice and square here, I can just continue to turn through the golf ball. A great drill to do for this is with this here. So have a resistance band up to an upright here. So what we wanna do, we want to grip onto it, and we wanna get into kind of like a makeshift top of the backswing. And from here, I want you just to turn and swivel those hips, because you're gripping on something resistant, can't do anything with your upper body from here. So you just want to turn that lower body, mid torso, keep that upper body quiet, get in all those repetitions. You can do that anywhere. And then replicate that the best you can. It gives you a very distinct feeling with the golf ball. 
So the fourth key principle here is continuous rotation through the shot. So I've referenced this in all the other key points, especially with the club face, that continuous rotation. So we don't want the speed of the rotation slowing down going through the golf ball. Because if we do that, the arms are gonna overtake the speed and the rate of our body. So then we're gonna lose control of club face, we can lose control of club path, a bunch of bad things will happen. So we don't want that to happen at all. We want that body to be controlling the club throughout, especially that downswing, control that club with that body. The club is just coming along for the ride. The body and the pivot movement is what's controlling the club. It's what all the best players in the world do, and you can do the same thing. So once you've got all these other steps, this is what you need for this, then you can really get that nice whippy turn through the golf ball. And of course, there is a drill to do for it, my favorite rotation drill. This will keep the speed of that rotation up, and make sure the arms aren't over racing it. So it's called preset impact, get into an impact position. So where weight is 90% on the left side, you've got your hips open, your chest open as much as you can with how open they are and have that right shoulder down to the right hip. So that gap between the shoulder and the hip, really make it as small as you possibly can without being in pain and then just swing back and swing through. That's gonna massively keep that body ahead of that club at all times. So this isn't gonna make you stuck. Getting stuck, there's a lot they have to do to get stuck. Just rotating hard where the club trailing will not make you stuck at all. It'll make you an extremely good ball striker and have this under your control on every single shot. That's why the tour players, if you've ever been to a tour event, you'll see them lasering flags. Just, there will be Absolutely unbelievable. But the guys who do it consistently, week in, week out, the best iron players, best ball strikers, the best drivers of the golf ball, continuous rotation through the shot is what they have. And of course, they have these other key points as well. So follow those, get those four key principles into your golf swing. It will not be a short time in doing it. This is not gonna be something that you're just gonna to go to the driving range next and be able to nail. If you do that, you are probably gonna be one of the best golfers of all time because or you have wasted your potential <laughs> so you'll be superhuman if you can do that this will take months months and months and months years possibly but this is a great one to work off and you will have the golf swing of your dreams if you do it so if you enjoy this video click that like button if you want more golf instruction just like this hit a subscribe button hit a bell button too to be notified every time i put out a video